A good segment of the population thinks it's just a matter of call Bruce Willis in, you know, and, and you know, notwithstanding we don't have a shuttle anymore, you know, that's impossible. But, but um, uh, things that, that beg for an answer, you know, scary, of course, that we only know about 10% of the, the huge ones, threats. Uh, and we virtually have no idea of the small threats, like the one that went undetected, the recent impact in Russia. You know, what would we do uh, if you detected uh, even a small one? Uh, like the one that uh, detonated in, in, in Russia, um, headed for New York City in three weeks. What would we do? Bend over and what? No, I, I, Congressman, I, you know, that is, um, I don't, again, I have to go back to what I said before. These are, th these are very rare events. Uh, from the information that we have on, um, on asteroids that we've discovered of all sizes, we don't know of one that, that will threaten the population of the United States, you know, in three weeks. Um, and we are trying very diligently, as I said before, with the President's budget to put ourselves in a position where we advance the technology such that Three weeks will not be something that causes us to panic because we will be able to respond. We are where we are today because, you know, you all told us to do something and, and, it, and between the administration and the Congress, the funding to do that did not, the bottom line is always the funding did not come. And, and, and I don't care whose fault it is or, or if it's anybody's fault. We all know what we're facing today. And we're all sitting here today as the Congress and the administration try to figure out sequestration, something that never should have happened, nobody planned to happen, but we're facing it today. And so the answer to you is if it's coming in three weeks, uh, pray. If, it's, if we find that out right now, and, and that's not bad. That's, that's not reality. Bad, that's not bad policy. Though. Yeah. I, I'm a practicing Episcopalian and I love what the Pope's doing right now, I, I'll tell you. That uh, things have happened. You you gotta pray.